The Pasha Bechukosai is a culmination of a Sefer that focuses on Kedusha. The first half of Aikra is devoted to Karbanos, Tum of Atara. The second half focuses on the Kedusha, the Moadim, and in the Pasha of Acharei Masa a new tragic reality is disclosed to Klag Yisrael. The reality of Golus, a frightening reality. The Torah tells us, both at the end of Acharei Masa Kedoshim, the language of Hako is used, Hei Kuf Alafei, Vulo Soki Haaretz Eschem B'Tamachem Osa, Ka'asher Koa Es Agoy Asher Lefnechem. A similar language is also found at the end of Kedoshim. There also the Torah speaks about Chas V'Sholom, Vulo Soki Eschem Haaretz Asher Ni, Maybe Eschem Shoma, the Ramban points out that the departure from the land is not an onesh that's imposed on us due to technological ineptitude or our inability to administer or govern the land properly, but rather it's a natural phenomenon, a result of certain behavior patterns, or as the Ramban writes, Eretz Yisrael eno sovelos over Avera. Eretz Yisrael cannot weather, cannot handle Abar Yonim, those who are transgressing, especially in three areas where a Jew is obligated to give up his or her life, Abu Zarah, Gilarayas, and Shrikh Rashi invokes the analogy to someone with a delicate digestive system that has ingested an item that's inappropriate. And therefore, this is the backdrop for the Tachacha Parshat Bechukosai. An examination of the Ramban Shita in the Torah reveals that all the aforementioned areas of Kedusha, Bidei Karbanos, Tum of Etara, the Goyim, Moadim, all reflect a very intimate Kesha between HaKadosh Baruch and Klav Yisrael. The nations of the world operate under Hashkacha Klolis, a general kind of Hashkacha, a general kind of divine providence. We operate with the Hashkacha Pratis, with a very favorite son kind of status. And this favorite son status is especially reflected in Eretz Yisrael. The intensity of that Ashkoch is most palpably felt in Eretz Yisrael, as the Torah writes in Sefer Dvarim, Eretz Asher Eni Hashem Elokech Abba, Mei Reishis Hashona V'yadach Rishona. In this week's parasha, B'chukosa, in the Torah, where the Ramban presents and beautifully portrays this Ashkoch of Nisis, this miraculous kind of divine providence. At the beginning of the parasha, we are the recipient of Many, many wonderful brachas. Benasati Gishmecha Beita, Benasta Haaretz Yivula, Productivity, Benasati Shalom Baretz. We will be literally in an ideal, ensconced in an ideal, an ideal kind of environment. We will not suffer from a panoply of dreadful diseases. We will enjoy personal health. Weather conditions will be ideal. Agricultural conditions will lead to prosperity. And the Ramban says this won't be a series of isolated events, but rather to me, a constant, perpetual state that unequivocally bespeaks the Yad Hashem, the Ashkoch HaPratis vis-a-vis Klav Yisrael. And this position is already adumbrated by the Ramban earlier on in Lech Lecha, on the Pesach of Vayotzi Oso Achutza, the Mark Kamitz Rashi refers to it, Tzei mitz nagnin esholcha Hashem tolav ravino, ein mazol Yisrael, we are above the Mazalos. Our history is not determined by the forces of history, by cause and effect, by the canons of rationality, but we are the Malam and Ateva. Kum nisalech v'aretz l'arko l'rachba k'lechad nena. And the Gemara Bar Basra Dabkuf, the Gemara notes that Eretz Yisrael was not acquired through the normal channels that one acquires real estate, that the Mishnah speaks of in Kedusha and the Masechad Bar Basra. Normally real estate is acquired via Kesef, Shtar, Chazaka, how do we acquire Eretz Yisrael? Avram Avinu traversed the land, Lark of the Rachba, Halicha, which is a rather striking and revolutionary kind of Kenyan that we're not familiar with in the context of Kaka. The Gemara says, Eretz Yisrael, Muchzekes Ilonu Me'avoseinu. We have a presumptive right to Eretz Yisrael, but there's one proviso, one tonight, which is indispensable, and that is Halicha, namely, in the Chukosai Telechol. If we observe the Chukim of Hashem is Barach, if we observe his mitzvahs, then the productivity will be boundless. And again, one can ask, is there any logical connection between observing Chukim and Mishpatim 
following Ratz and Hashem, the abundance of rain in Eretz Yisrael? Is there any logical connection between observing the mitzvahs of Tzvila and Mezuzah and our ability to vanquish our enemies? Can we logically understand our non-observance of Shemitah for 70 years and the result of our being gullish for 70 years? On the contrary, the more I cultivate the land, the more productive, the more successful my handiwork. Of course, the answer is, we don't operate that way. HaKadosh Baruch operates with Klal Yisrael, and what is it told you on? Halicha. Hashem invites us to participate attitudinally in the halicha, in the view of history, in the view of our role. And it was already painted for us by Abba Mabino. But then the Torah tells us there's also the converse, namely, the Torah begins in the Ukonsai with the downward trajectory. The downward trajectory, of course, is very clear. Namely, how does the Torah describe it? Chas v'shalom im lo tishmuli im b'chukol saiti lasu And then the Torah says, what is the approach? Ba'alach demimi keri, also a halicha, but a different kind of halicha. Markedly different. One that's based on keri. And what will the Rebbe Shalom do? Ba'alach demimi rachem keri. And the Torah continues, vim is also tishmuli and it gets worse. Again, a halicha, but a halicha of a totally different order. The Torah is contrasting two sugim, tzvei dinim and halicha. One a halicha where we accept the fact that Hashem operates with us, and then we will be the recipient of the beneficence. We will be, in effect, subject to benefaction beyond me'alam eva. If however we decide to take the other halicha, we go b'derachateva. Not follow the Chuki Hashem, not observe the mitzvahs, and Rachman Litzan will be carried, or as the Rambam writes in Hilos Tanios, we see the world without the Yad Hashem, cause and effect, the ties of history, zigzags, cyclical understanding of things. Chas V'sholem, if we take out Rivan Shalom, the way a secular historian does, then Rachman Litzan, the Adich will be of a totally different nature. We have a great schus and opportunity to latch on to the original Adich. Namely, halicha b'darke Hashem. If we do so, Hashem is brought promises us. Be salachti b'sachem v'yisir lachem l'elokim v'yatem tiyu ilam. Chalavai m'shim b'zoicha to follow that halicha. Hashem will operate with us the malam b'darke Hateva, dafka in Eretz Yisrael, and will be zoicha v'ez Hashem is brought to all the brachas haksumas patera with asati shalom ba'aretz v'udafti m'soyvechem u'fanisi alechem v'hifreisi eschem v'hibesi eschem. Rakim Osias Brisi Yitzchem, Halavai Shenizke Lekach, 